that is bringing in the surprise for Sage. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, Oakley's upset. Okay. <laughs> so you're good now? Oh. I want it fresh. Fresh. Who had the accident? Good morning. <laughs> oh, okay. Good morning. We are heading out for a little brunch. Oakley hopefully is about to nap. Sage. She's just being, being crazy, Sage. It has been raining all week, so we figured we're gonna get out of the house, have a little brunch, and then when we get back, we have some exciting things. Sage, we have a surprise for you later. Are you excited? Yeah. Some big things happening this weekend. Are you Santa? It's not Santa's giving you a surprise. It's mommy and Daddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my friend sun goes down but we get back again trouble is a silly oh it's cold oh no 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 we almost lost the changing mat We are back home. Matt is bringing in the surprise for Sage. I'm so excited this day has finally come. It could be a disaster or it could go really, really well. We shall see. We've been telling Sage we have a surprise for her, so she's excited. And I'm hoping it's a surprise that she's hoping for. We've been hinting at that she's getting a new bed. So we figured that we would have her involved in like the building and the process of the new bed and then that way maybe she'll like want to sleep in it and enjoy the new addition to her room i'll show you what her current room setup is i've done a whole tour of her room before on my channel i'll link it down below the plan is to set up her new bed and eventually move her crib over to Oakley's room. This is Oakley's room. Right now there's no crib in this room. I am thinking about maybe putting the dresser along this wall and then eventually putting his crib here. I don't really like the idea of a crib underneath the window, but we'll see how that looks. Hi, he's doing so much better. He's had a fever the last couple days, but I'm hoping he's finally on the mend. <laughs> yeah. We'll have the pack and play, but he's not sleeping in that yet. It's so dark in here. So Matt is going to pack up this little tent. That is her crib. Her new bed is going to go along this wall here. I'm going to open the blinds. Oh my, oh my, oh my. God. <laughs> Let me show you how Matt, this is not why I tripped. I was just not paying attention. Matt is so like, Lay everything out into groups. Does everyone do this? This is how Matt is in, in life. So Sage's new bed was actually gifted to us so kindly by the small company called Wood Joy Collection. They're the same company that we got Sage's like table and chair set in her playroom from, which is probably one of the most used items to date. Ooh. This was a lovely Christmas gift from grandma. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go. It just like folds up into a tent. Maybe she can use it outside. I'm gonna link the bed down below as well as the table and chair set. If you guys have little ones, it's something that will grow with your kids. Originally my plan, should I turn off this light? Is that better? Okay. Oh, Oakley's upset. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. okay. Let me hang out with you. Oh, you do. You have a poopy. Okay. He's got a change and he just had milk. So you're good now? Yeah, yeah you were just hungry. Mwah. Oh, oh no. We are all out of bibs, Oakley. We need to get more. You're gonna get a bed. Sage is gonna get a bed. Everybody is getting, we're also, I didn't even talk about, we are also getting a little bedroom makeover. Let me show you. This is why I don't vlog with two kids. Like one is always with me and I just, it's hard to be hands-free. 
We're not getting a new mattress. We're just getting like a bed refresh so our mattress is already organic but we are getting new organic pillows organic bedding and i'm so excited for just a little spring refresh for our bedroom huh also the comforter we had before i still like it i'm just kind of over it is this color it's like a terracotta and i just want like fresh lighter fresh 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 I want it fresh, fresh, big energy. <laughs> what do you think, Oakley? What do you think? Uh, so we weren't going to change our sheets until later in the week, but I won't say who. Somebody had an accident in the bed. That's all I'm saying. And it just, we had to wash all the sheets this morning. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who had the accident? Me? Uh, I did? Daddy. Daddy had the accident. Let's go build Sage's bed. Should we bring her up? Yeah, let's bring her up. What are you making? Bed. Your new bed? about this guys so I don't know Gosh, we might have a pillow. I don't we know. Need a All right, we got our new mattress from Sunshine Mattress Co. It's all organic. It's actually a natural rubber filled mattress. So it's always going to stay like buoyant and no toxins. It's super comfy. Get me. Look. Is that not the cutest little pillow you, you've ever seen? You? So we, of course, had to get a waterproof protector. You can't sit on my bed. I can't sit on your bed? I sit on it. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so this is going to protect your mattress. I love it. You love it? We're going to have to start teaching you how to make your bed. Does that sound fun? Wow. I don't love this one. You don't want that one? I can't do it this one. I can't do it myself. Oh, yeah. You can do this one yourself. Look, your first little duvet. Wow. I love this. Duvet. You love it? Okay. That's a nice blanket. I don't think I got a duvet until I was 30. <laughs> Mommy, that's your blanket. <laughs> Alright, I think it's safe to say Sage likes her bed. She specifically said she liked it more than the crib. Mommy, go to bed. Okay. Go away. Oh, you're ready to go to bed? Okay. Go away. Okay. Good night. So our new sheets, pillows, and duvet cover are all from Sunshine Mattress Co. They're all organic, non-toxic, and what's so cool is that the filling of the pillows, they either have wool or latex filled. And if you've never actually felt like real natural rubber, it is crazy. It feels like a, almost like a, not a marshmallow, like a spongy marshmallow, but like firmer. Anyways, such a cool material. And those are the pillows that we got. And then you can take out the filling based on how firm or soft you want it. And it, the nice thing is the pillows actually have, they have some weight to them, which is nice. So 
She told me to take out about three to four cups for the firmness that I liked at the store. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And she said these pillows are gonna last like eight years. They don't lose their shape and they just keep you cool and are super comfortable to lay on. All right, we are washing all the sheets, but I wanna show you the pillows. It's not time for bed. I was getting a little flustered. I was getting hot upstairs. I was wearing that sweater, so I changed. I'm making food because I also realized I was a little hangry. And I don't know what it, I've talked about it before in one of my vlogs, but this postpartum, I just feel like I get so irritated and like angry so quickly. So I usually try to check myself and be like, number one, did you eat? Number two, did you sleep? Number three, did you breathe? <laughs> Honestly, the last three nights, I have not really slept that well because Oakley's been sleeping. Matt's been sleeping in the guest room because he has this awful cough that would just wake up Oakley and I. And so I've been bringing Oakley into bed with me because he's been having this fever. So I've been wanting to check on him. And because of that, like I just haven't been sleeping well. So chill out with Sage for a bit. She's watching, she, she knows where it's at. She's like chilling on the couch watching a movie. She knows what's up. From that bakery we were at this morning, we got some sourdough bread. I always just get them to slice it. And then we got some mixed berry scones. This is to bring to Matt's mom's tomorrow, but I really want to eat one. I'm like, oh, do I just eat one and then cut the other ones like in half? So it looks like I didn't eat one. I don't know. They look so good. They're sour. Everything from this bakery is sourdough. It's on Main Street in Barrie and they make the best sourdough bread. This is the, I think the multi-grain one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hot. Oh. Mm. Food. I find sometimes when you have brunch, you kind of skip lunch. I can't do that. Not when you're breastfeeding. <laughs> the hunger catches up. Okay, I gotta put some laundry in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our fresh organic bedding. It is so soft. I don't think the color's really coming off on camera. It's kind of like a creamy ivory. And then I want to put like a knitted blanket across. I think that will look really cute. All right, we got the two troublemakers. This yeah. girl has requested a snack. I'll eat that please first. If you don't eat that, then means you're not hungry. Well, that she's eating in our new clean bed, Oakley. It is BED time. I'm gonna give him some milky. So you're just having a nice crumbly snack in our fresh bed. Are you making crumbs? No? Okay. We're gonna see how first night goes with Sage's new uh, BED. We'll keep you guys updated. He's feeling so much better. No fe He's like a little warm, but he doesn't have a hot fever anymore. He's drooling like crazy. But it was a really nice, just chill day at home, and I feel like we got a lot a lot done. I'm waiting for his jammies in the dryer. They're gonna be so warm. They're gonna be so warm. Are you wondering who I'm talking to? Are you wondering who I'm talking to? All right, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed the whole transitioning stage to her new toddler big girl bed. I want to give you guys an update as well as any tips that I think we use that may be helpful for other people doing the same transition because it's an intimidating one and I feel like we put it off. But honestly, I feel like the timing was perfect. So I felt like we put it off, but now doing it, I feel like we waited at the perfect time. Speaking of timing, that is such an important thing. Don't rush it. You know how many parents I talk to that feel like they put their kid in a big girl or boy bed way too early? There's like pressure from everyone that's like, oh, your kid should be out of their crib by like a certain time. Sage was like, she's three and a half years old now and like she just moved into her big girl bed and everyone I talked to that did it before three years old was like don't do it I regret it I feel like if your kid is happy in their crib and not trying to climb out like let them be so don't let the grandparents or friends or other family members pressure you into moving your kid into a big bed because guess who's gonna have to deal with it you the fact that Sage really enjoyed her crib and was never trying to climb out was the main reason why we're just like keep her in there and then obviously once we knew we were gonna have a second baby I didn't want the transition to be while we were dealing with newborn sleep fun fact was way better than the four month sleep regression sleep so um, that's been fun start warming them up to the idea start talking about 
about it, getting them excited, and just getting the idea in their head so it's not such a surprise when it does happen. Have them help you with the process. Toddlers love to help and they love to feel big and grown up. So we had Sage help out with the whole process of building her bed, setting up her bedding and everything, and just feeling like she was in control and a part of the whole like transition and experience. I think this really gave her ownership with her bed and was like, this is my big girl bed. And I feel like it helped her get really excited to then sleep in it that night. This is something our sleep consultant Lily told us and I'll link her down below. She's amazing. She said, leave the crib in her room for a couple of weeks. Don't just take it out right away. So she can kind of get used to the idea of sleeping in her new bed. And it doesn't feel like the crib's been stolen away from her and then given to her younger brother. So if you are transitioning the crib to a younger sibling, leave the crib in the toddler's room for a bit and then when you do transition it out um, don't let them see it right away like we moved the crib into Oakley's room after a bit but we also talked before we did that after it had been already a week or so of her sleeping in her new bed Matt had asked her like what do you think you want to say goodbye to your crib like we don't need it anymore right he didn't make it a big deal but she was like yeah yeah I'm good, I don't need it, I like my new bed. And then at that time we moved the crib into Oakley's room, but we didn't show her that it was in there. It was actually probably another week or so that she realized, oh, my crib's in Oakley's room. And it wasn't really a big deal and we didn't make it a big deal. Okay, so getting them to stay in their bed. So don't talk about the fact that like, don't leave the room, don't get out of the bed. I feel like don't even mention that that's like something that they can do. Like even when we would be talking to friends and family about Sage sleeping in her new bed, they would, they'd be like, oh, she's not trying to get out. And I would try to limit that conversation around her because I didn't want to put the idea in her head that that was something that she could do. I wanted her just to think it was like her crib. She stays in her bed and she calls us if she needs us. So every time we put her into bed, we always say, you know, if you need mommy or daddy, just call and we'll come. She's really only called us in the middle of the night if she has to pee or maybe she had a bad dream and we'll just go in there, give her some water and then calm her back to bed and she's stayed. So it's gone really well so far. I think just letting them know that you're there if they need you, like they don't need to come to you, you'll come to them, really helps them not feel like they have to like leave the room to get mom or dad. Stick to a schedule and try to stick to the same schedule that you're doing when they're on the in the crib. So Sage's bedtime routine is around 7.30. So now that we have two, we're trying to incorporate both of their bedtime routines at the same time, reading a book, if they're doing bath time, I'm um, getting into their pajamas. So we do the same thing. Another fun thing you can do, which we haven't done yet, is create a checklist and have them help you with the order that they wanna do things. If they wanna do like brush my teeth first, put my pajamas on, uh, read a book, let them have some control over what is happening for their bedtime routine and then let them like check it off or just have a visual of everything that they're gonna be doing every single time. We haven't done that yet because I feel like she's been in a really good routine on her own, but if we feel like we need to have some visual we might do that soon. I feel like once she starts school as well, we're gonna have like different like checklists around the house just to help her remember and just like make transitions very smooth. Okay, this is something that really, really helped and I think it made it a lot of fun for Sage. And it's, if you have one of those, like uh, we have the Hatch white noise machine, which also doubles as a nightlight and also as like, I think they call it like toddler timer lights. I don't, alarm clocks, toddler alarm clocks. Um, basically it uses light and you can use their app to like figure out what time you want everything set at. So like at 7.30, we have her sound machine go on with her red light that she now likes having on throughout the night. And then at 7.30 in the morning, it turns to green. And she honestly caught on to this really quickly. Matt told her that the light is gonna go green when she can get up and leave her bed. But she doesn't even leave her bed in the morning. When we come in and get her in the morning, she's just like, green, green light, green means go. Like she loves that the light, like she's waking up to this light and it's a new color and she thinks it's really fun. You could also do something like bird noises or let them pick what color they wanna have on in the, in the morning, especially if you have a toddler that likes to get out of their room. Um, they can't obviously tell time. So having that light, that visual cue for them to leave their room, I think is really helpful. And the biggest thing is just like, tell them how awesome they are for sleeping in their big boy or big girl bed. I think just like cheering them on and being like, you, you slept in your big bed, good job. Like how much fun, that was like my mom voice. How much fun was that? And just make them excited and like, good job, you're doing so good. And let them tell like friends and family members that they're sleeping in their big bed, show photos, like we show daycare, like her big bed and just really help them feel proud for just accomplishing such a big milestone in their life. Okay, say so thank you for watching.
Thank you, Mati. If you have any questions about how the transition's been going, leave them down below in the comments. I'll be sure to chat with you guys there. I'm gonna go get her water. We're gonna go see my mom and my brother just got a new puppy. So we're gonna have a little visit. Okay, I gotta go get water. Okay, bye guys, subscribe. <laughs>